Chad Moyer with you. We're sitting down with JCA Technologies, literally sitting down in the cab of a brand new combine. And uh, today we're visiting with Colton Rathman. He is a test engineer with JCA Technologies. Uh, Colton, uh, a new piece of technology, a new tool in the toolbox for farmers, specifically helping with harvest. If you had to describe Outrun, how would you do that? Outrun is an autonomous system that allows all infield applications of the grain cart to be done with nobody in the tractor, all controlled from the combine. And we're going to get a first-hand look at this. This is going to be pretty cool. Uh, you think about how busy harvest is, right, Colton? And just the, uh, the sheer volume of man hours that it takes to accomplish, right? Right. And, and that's critical because the time, timeliness of that labor really helps get that crop out of the out of the field. Okay, so you are, we call you the test engineer with the JCA Technologies. In a nutshell, what is that? Basically, I, I've been working on these two machines here, making sure everything's running fine, getting the system tuned and ready to go for the actual infield driving. Okay, so we're sitting here in the combine. Describe what, what technology or what hardware is being used here in the combine to make this happen. So here in the combine, we have one of our JCA's Eagle controllers here on the outside of the combine, as well as some uh, antennas and uh, communication radio to the tractor. Uh, and then the actual operation of the grain cart is done on an app on this iPad. Okay, and then you have some corresponding equipment then in the tractor cab, right? Yes, there's another Eagle controller inside the tractor cab that's plugged into the tractor, as well as other uh, suite of sensors for obstacle detection, as well as other uh, GPS receivers, radio antenna, mm -hmm. um, some other switches and to allow it to go into the auto mode and be put back into the manual mode. Okay, so Colton, uh, describe what what is this designed to do? What should happen when you use OutRun? Uh, it, it will allow the combine driver to have complete control of that grain cart, not have to go on the radio and tell anyone where to be. He can just put that cart wherever wherever they want it. Okay, well show us, can you show us how it works? Give us kind of a, a walk through and explain what you're doing. So as you can see here on the app, We've got the field boundary here at, at this dealership. So what we're going to do here is you can see the cart location, the combine location, and then this here is our truck zone. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, so what you can do here is there are three main tasks, staging cart, ready to fill, and then send a truck. So for stage cart, we're gonna select, we're gonna select that task, and then we're going to drop a pin, and you can change the direction that you want it to end what direction you want it facing. So we're gonna drop it here in the field. I'm gonna select staging, and then the tractors receive the task, and it's going to execute that task, and it's gonna end up over there on that end of the field. And so just you doing that right here in front of us, it didn't take very long for you to give the command and for the tractor to respond. Correct. Once the, once the task has been sent to the tractor, there is a three second delay for it to notify the surroundings. Either the alarm will go off and the hazards will start flashing and then it will start executing the task. All right, so we wanna keep other people that might be around the field safe as well, right? Correct. <laughs> okay, so let's kind of think uh, in, in a practical sense, you know, let's, let, let's make believe that this is, you know, October 3rd and we're out doing harvesting. So the combine is going to be going up and down, back and forth up the field, right? Correct. Would you say it is, while you're doing that, it is, it is easy to think ahead and, you know, kind of, it's kind of, what do I want to say? Think about where you want that grain cart ahead of time. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. You're usually thinking about where you want that grain cart and where you want the next, like, uh, where you're going to need it next. At that point, that's where you can stage it to whatever end of the field. If you know you're going to be full before that passes over, you can, you can set it where you want it in order to come pick it up as well as I'll show the ready to fill task here in a moment uh, what will happen is when you when you select that task the tractor is just going to come to you and it's going to align under the auger on its own mm -hmm. so you don't have to think about anything other than I need the grain cart right now okay so you could set this up so that it would just follow you all of the time most of the time or just when you need it huh basically when you're going down that row you can once you call it it's locked on to the combine and it can it will just stay with you until you tell it to stop mm -hmm. okay Okay, so now you're extending the auger arm out. Yes, so I've extended the auger, the 
grain tank's full, I know I need the grain cart to come for an unload. So I'll hit the ready to fill button here on the tablet. It's gonna plan a path and it's gonna come a line underneath the auger here. Let's say, okay, so again, thinking practically, you're more than likely taking out 12 or however many rows uh, of grain, 16 rows or whatever it might be. And then you just go over and you touch that pad touch, and say, hey, I'm full. Yep. And then here it comes. And then it will line up underneath the auger. And then we will change on the app here to this alignment view. So now you have full control of where you're filling into the grain cart. So you can, you can move that unload point so that you can most optimally fill that grain cart better than you can with an operator where you're giving hand signals back and forth or going over the radio saying move forward, speed up, slow down, whatever it might be. And with that, the grain cart also is paired to the combine. So if we speed up, the grain cart is gonna speed up with us to keep that point. And as we slow down, it will slow down with us in order to keep that unload point so we don't have to worry about spilling grain. And if the combine were to come to a stop, say I got plugged, say I need, you know, something happens, I need to come to a stop, the grain cart will also come to a stop at that time and it will basically cancel that task and wait for you to call it again. Okay, how do you, how do you, you know, if, if I wanna fill the front or if I wanna fill the back? So if you wanna fill the front, you simply nudge the load point to the front and then the, in this case, the tractor will slow down so that you can get to the front of that cart. And if you wanna fill the back of the cart, you nudge and move that point to the back of the cart. And you're doing all this on the go? All of this on the go while I'm harvesting. Is there any way, how do you quantify the ease of doing this? You know, because you, you try and think of man hours, you try and think of your mental health, you know what I mean? The, the stress of the season. Absolutely. How, how can you quantify some, having a tool like this, you know what I mean? I, I'm not sure how you quantify that, but we definitely wanted to make this app as simple as possible as the combine operators had so much going on, so much presented them. They're, they're making sure the, the quality of the grain and tanks clean. You're making sure you're not, having issues with your head. So we wanna make this as simple as possible to operate. That's why we've, we've created a you know, clean view here on the screen, simple tasks, easy to use. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, uh, talk about what happens when the grain cart is full. So you, you've topped it off, what happens now? So now, now that the grain cart's full, so once the grain cart's full, We've got that truck zone set, so our trucks are parked down there. The truck drivers can unload it. So what we'll do is we'll hit the send a truck task and it will go to that predefined zone where the trucks are parked. And once it navigates to that zone, it will drop into the manual mode so that the truck driver can approach, hop in the cab and unload it into the semi. Okay. So as we're sitting here, its, it's mission is to go back to that pre-selected truck zone Correct. and wait to be unloaded. Correct. There and that goes. truck zone can be moved uh, wherever you need it in the field as you go, but that's a predefined one-click task, uh, similar to the staging task, but it's always the same point. Mm -hmm. So you could argue that you, you're, you're saving the employee wages of one person in the, in the tractor cab, right? What, you, what you're really doing is you're optimizing that labor that you would have. Uh -huh. So in the case of the person you would normally have in the grain cart, you can have them doing anything else. You could have them in another truck. You can get more grain on the road. Um, that's really where the optimization is, is getting somebody out of that cab and allowing you to just continue harvesting while all of your grain is on the road. Colton, what is it, just you personally, what is it like being on the developing end and testing end of a tool like this? Oh, it's been an amazing process. It's It's been really fun to, uh, figure out possible solutions for all these hard labor questions, hard questions on things in the ag industry. It, it's been very exciting. And technology, I, I always get people in the cab that say, wow, that's really cool. Yeah. And that, and it really is. Yeah, no doubt. Colton, thanks for showing us, uh, shining a spotlight on this. Appreciate it. Thank you. Again, that's Colton Rathman. He is a test engineer with JCA Technologies. Again, showing us outrun a way, like he says, to optimize the people that are working on your farm and automate that grain cart activity. I'm Chad Moyer.